And new at 10 tonight, a scathing and disturbing report on the Hines County Detention Center from a court-appointed monitor. Understaffed inmates in charge, assaults, injuries, escapes, and even death included in the report from a federal court monitor obtained by three on your side tonight. Hines County Sheriff Victor Mason responds. The report from the court monitor is over 100 pages. The first 30 detail troubling findings, including a staff shortage that prevents the supervision of inmates. According to the report, inmates, rather than officers, are in charge of the facility. Inmates are not on my payroll. They don't run anything here but their mouths. Uh, number two, we do have staff, not fully staff, like I would love to have it, but at the same time, we do maintain order at the jail. The report covers a period from January through May of this year. Two of the most disturbing issues, a major riot April 19, 2019, during a storm when all power was lost. An emergency generator kicked on, but when the fuel level was not checked, it ran out of gas. Inmates broke out of cells. In housing unit four, inmates refused to come out, possibly because an inmate in their unit had been stabbed eight times earlier in the day. According to the report, over 100 inmates did their best to break into the control room by pulling open the door and by going up into the ceiling. It did not work, but the officers in the control room had to physically hold the sliding door. When help arrived, they were not able to open the main entrance to the facility with keys because the locks require electricity. Nobody was stabbed that night. I wanted to make that clear. Number two, the doors did malfunction. Uh, number three, the generator kicked in, but then it went off because there was no fuel in the generator. Now, the generator is not my responsibility. It's the Hines County Maintenance Division. We corrected the problem. We got with the county administrator. And we now have new locks. So these locks not, not only operate electronically, they uh, uh, operate manually also. So inmates can't get out now. An inmate was murdered December 6, 2018. The victim arrested for murder and placed in housing unit B3, where he was killed in retaliation for that murder. According to the report, several inmates have been charged and are being held for trial. That particular case is still in litigation. And I wish I could talk about it, but I cannot because it's still in court. The safety of the nursing staff also a concern. Nurses have reported being harassed, grabbed, and in one incident, urine was thrown on a nurse. I had one nurse just said that she just didn't feel right going in by herself, and I do understand that. But nobody has reported any of those incidents to me. The Monitor's report does mention improvements and credits Sheriff Mason with some of the changes. It also finds the county is non-compliant in its agreement with the Justice Department in 43 different areas, an improvement from 85 in 2017. A part of the report also says the county must notify the Monitor and the Justice Department of any prisoner death, riot, escape, injury, or the failure to release a prisoner who is entitled within three days.